Wyatt Earp Saloon in Tombstone, Arizona is one of the most iconic locations in the history of the American West. The saloon was established in 1881 by the legendary lawman and entrepreneur Wyatt Earp, and it quickly became a popular spot for locals, visitors, and some of the most notable figures of the Wild West era. In this video, we're going to explore the history of Wyatt Earp Saloon and the people who visited it, as well as its place in the mythology of the American West. Welcome to Chronicles of Time, where the past comes alive. Delve into well-known and hidden historical events as we journey through the ages. Join our community of history enthusiasts and subscribe to stay up to date on our latest chronicles. Don't forget to leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments. Your support keeps us going. Let's explore the mysteries of time together. Wyatt Earp arrived in Tombstone in 1879 at the height of the town's boom. The silver mines in the area had attracted a population of prospectors, miners, and entrepreneurs, and Tombstone had become a bustling town with a reputation for being wild and lawless. Earp saw an opportunity to make a new start in Tombstone and begin his career as a lawman and entrepreneur. In 1880, Earp and his brother, Virgil and Morgan, opened a saloon on Allen Street, which they named the Oriental Saloon. The saloon was a success, and the Earp brothers soon became well-known in the town for their business acumen and their connections to law enforcement. However, the Earp's ownership of the Oriental Saloon was short-lived as they sold their interest in the business to focus on other ventures. In 1881, Wyatt Earp opened his own saloon in Tombstone, which he simply called Wyatt Earp Saloon. The saloon was located on the corner of Allen and 6th Street, in a building that had previously been occupied by a Chinese laundry. Earp saw an opportunity to capitalize on the booming business in Tombstone and invested heavily in the saloon's construction and design. The interior of the saloon was a sight to behold. Earp wanted to create a space that was welcoming and comforting for his customers, but also had a distinct Wild West atmosphere. To achieve this, he divided the saloon into several different areas, each with its own purpose. The first area was the bar, which was supposed to be the centerpiece of the saloon. The bar was more than 30 feet long and made of mahogany with a brass footrail and comfortable leather stools for patrons to sit on. Behind the bar, Earp installed shelves that were stocked with a wide variety of spirits, including whiskey, brandy, and gin. The bar was a popular spot for patrons to gather and socialize, and it was known for its lively atmosphere. The second area of the saloon was the gambling room, which was located in the back of the building. This room was where the real action happened, as patrons gathered to play games of chance like poker and pharaoh. Earp himself was known to be an avid gambler and often played in the gambling room with his customers. The room was decorated with ornate chandeliers and plush velvet curtains, which gave it a luxurious and intimate feel. The third area of the saloon was the stage, which was located at the front of the building. The stage was used for live entertainment, such as singing, dancing, and theatrical performances. Earp hired a rotating cast of performers to keep the entertainment fresh and exciting for his patrons. The stage was also used for speeches and political rallies, as Tombstone was a political, active town. The fourth and final area of the saloon was the balcony, which overlooked Allen Street. The balcony was a popular spot for patrons to relax and enjoy the view of the bustling town below. It was also used for special events such as parades and celebrations. White Earp Saloon quickly became a popular spot for locals, visitors, and some of the most notable figures of the Wild West era. One of the most famous visitors to the saloon was the famous gambler and gunfighter, Doc Holliday. Holliday was a frequent patron of the saloon and was known to be a skilled gambler. He often played poker with Earp and the other patrons in the gambling room, and his reputation as a deadly gunslinger only added to his mystique. Another notable visitor to the saloon was Bat Masterson, who was a well-known lawman and gunfighter. Masterson was a friend of Earp's and often visited the saloon when he was in Tombstone. He was known to be a skilled gambler and also enjoyed the lively atmosphere of the saloon. 
Other notable visitors to Wyatt Earp Saloon included the famous lawman and gunfighter Wild Bill Hickok and the outlaw Johnny Ringo. Both men were known to be frequent visitors to Tombstone and were often seen at the saloon. Wyatt Earp Saloon played an important role in the history of Tombstone and the Wild West. It was a gathering place for the town's residents and visitors, and it was a symbol of Earp's success as both a lawman and an entrepreneur. The saloon was also a reflection of the Wild West culture of the time, with its lively atmosphere, gambling, and entertainment. After Earp's death in 1929, the saloon changed hands several times and underwent numerous renovations. Today, the building that once housed Wyatt Earp Saloon is still standing and is home to a variety of businesses. However, the legacy of the saloon and its famous proprietor lives on, and it continues to be a popular destination for visitors to Tombstone who are always interested in the history of the Wild West. White Earp Saloon was a unique and iconic establishment that played an important role in the history of Tombstone and the Wild West. It was a gathering place for some of the most notable figures of the era and a reflection of the culture and atmosphere of the time. Although the saloon is no longer in operation, its legacy lives on and it continues to be an important part of the mythology of the American West. Thank you for watching Chronicles of Time. If you have any ideas for our next videos, leave us a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. Cheers, y'all.